Okay, uh, so on the headlight installation, this is the front panel where once after you remove everything, this is more or less where the location of all the components will be. Uh, to start, you just want to leave this set of cables down here. The ones from the handlebar from the throttle side, just leave it internally in, uh, in between the two bolt areas on the triple the upper triple and uh, these two bolt areas is, is the ones that we're going to be using this four so the clutch cable uh, get all the clips to be facing outwards this way and the horn cable just leave it on the side outside of the bolt area so first uh, take the main frame all right and uh, get the 20 mil screws goes in from this side from the inside out so just bolt in lightly hold it into place just slightly tighten it uh, if it's possible to use an angle drive this will be easier okay and then the Two bottom screws, hold it into place and first what you want to do is to route the meter, the meter cable upwards, uh, right sorry, you want to bring this forward first, okay, forwards towards this side and then only this particular cable for the combination and the instrument route it to the back side pull it upwards and leave it up there okay so we're gonna install the instrument gauge first On the instrument gauge, first plug it in first. Do not plug it in after. Because uh, space is very narrow on this side, so pull the rubber back. Make sure you're on the correct side. That's nicely in and sit the rubber back. So to ensure that water don't go into the connector side, that's good. And then you can plug the gauge in. Okay, this should be loose. This should be loose. It's good. Now you can start bolting all this back. Instrument cluster bolts. It's four over.
so the instrumentation is up there good so next what we're going to do is tighten up all the four bolts that's holding everything on first this side and then on this side you want to align the clip you want to align the clip the the one with the uh, harness should be on the outside and the clutch clip should be on the inside okay that's gonna hold everything together here now you have your oops okay. you got your instrument cluster clip where you actually push it from the inside out okay okay let's put this back in and from here you can take this whole set of wires and push it through from below this side everything everything should come through this side Okay, and there's one little connector here, uh, sorry, uh, clip that should be clipped in on the side here. Okay, so now here is where I just want to get everything tidied up. First, this connector head will correspond to the one on the throttle side. Clip it in and lock it here. Okay. Then look for this. Make sure this goes up, and you will have the white, large white connector. Clip it in, and then the smaller one, the red one, right? Okay, so what you want to do is that you want to get some cable ties so the cable tie will go here one here another one right here Just loop it out. You can actually do this uh, before you install the frame. Okay. Yep. Okay. So the one, the large white one, goes to the hole here. Okay. Just clip it in. Okay. Then the red one goes next to it. with a cable tie okay just tighten it up here and then the last one will be the white one it's the same as a red same procedure just pull the cable up tight hold it into place snip the ends off and you're done here now, all these wires, you will want to tie one right here, okay. another one on the end side. one right up here okay 
So you'll be holding three points here. Push the cable aside. And snip it off. Snip all the ties off. And we are done on this section. Alright. You can uh, go ahead and uh, clip the brake lines here. So now the bottom still not tightened yet. You can go ahead and tighten this up. This side. Next, you will need the projector bracket. You want to lift all these wires upwards, and you can actually position the the projectors here. Um, before that, you may want to install the horn sockets first. Okay, get the bolts. of caution here uh, because these threads are really small so try not try to make sure that um, not to strip or cross thread any of these there's four of them the front is fixed uh, the rear is the adjuster okay let's put it in Okay, so now we have all the four bolts in. Just want to get this slightly snug, not too tight, and uh, this is where you can adjust the beam. So the adjustment of the beam should be done more or less before the front cover goes up. Okay, so uh, before we go there. The clip goes onto the front one first. There's a secondary one. This is supposed to be, I think it's for the power USB. So, um, let's clip on the lower one first. And then the upper one. Right? This way. This is not used. I'm not too sure why Yamaha supplied this, uh, but it is not used. So, this is the headlight connector for the power supply and on this side there's one clip right here and clip it on the top side and that's done so now we put in the power supply remove these two bolts Plug the power supply in both of them and position it. It can be a bit tight, but just position it in. I can one side first. Okay, so at this point, the, there's one clip on the side here for the horn, right? Mm. 
just oops, wrong size. Just uh, ensure that all the bolts are tight. Good. So at this point, you can start the bump up just to ensure that the headlight will turn on. Okay. High beam is good. Low beam is good. Let's switch it off, and we can proceed to install the front cover. Installing the front cover. First, get the screws ready. Put the lower rubber. I need to just push the rubber out before putting it in so that. Uh, it goes in a lot easier this way. Line the screws up. Take care not to cross thread. Give one there. Right before you install the front cover, you should do the alignment for the projector. Without the front cover, start it up, go to a dark place, set sit on a bike and adjust until satisfactory. And after that, tighten everything and then you can put up the front cover. Just uh, loosely put them on. Same, push the rubbers out, outwards and just push them in oops. side oops oh one mistake sorry That is not coming up. So I'm just going to remove the DRL wire again. Okay, so the DRL wire connects to this port. You can loop it in one of the holes and tuck them out of the way before pushing the rubber grommets in. Just make sure to not use a drill or any power tools to install these bolts because once you cross thread, that's it. So just tighten it up, all four corners.
Okay. Now. Okay, turn the switch on. That's good. Fire it up. High, low. We're done. And that's the installation video for the speed room crew.